morning. How are we all? I hope everyone is doing well. I thought I'd quickly just jump on here while I was getting ready to leave to intro this video, let you know what it's about. I'm gonna be doing a mic'd up workout. I did one of these a little while ago, but the last one was calisthenics. And this time I'm doing something, something I'm doing something that is not quite my favorite thing, which is lower body training. That being said, I am quite proud of how consistent I have been with my lower body training recently. I think it's been about three, maybe four months with a little bit of an injury time and a bit of a dodgy hamstring but I have been super consistent and I'm seeing progress, which feels amazing. So that is the plan for today. To be honest with you, this is not my favorite lower body session of the week. It's gonna involve low bar squats, which I don't mind. It's better than like regular high bar squats. I'm gonna be doing lunges, leg press, and because I'm training with Ollie, no diet, he'll throw in some sled push and pull. So that's kind of the gist of what the workout's gonna be but it'll be good to get out. Also, interestingly, I am riding to the gym on my bike, which I haven't done in ages. I haven't taken my bike out for a ride in probably a year, which is really bad. When I used to live in Australia, I rode my bike every day. I rode it to work, I rode it back, I did all my groceries on the bike and everything. And now that I live in England, I just walk everywhere and I rarely take my bike out. So yeah, I think that'll be quite nice. Although riding back might be a little bit uphill and after leg day, oof, that might just feel a little bit yuck. Anyway, I've just had a little bit of brekkie. I had the most random mix of stuff because I didn't have anything in my house, but I was like, I'm not super hungry, but I should probably eat because I just need some energy. So I had some vegan protein powder, which is vanilla flavored, always. Mwah, chef's kiss. I had some oats and then I put in some water, some frozen raspberries, some banana, some cinnamon, and I just threw it in the fridge. Oh, and chia seeds. Threw it in the fridge and just let it soak and it kind of like puffed up a little bit and just ate that. Now I'm describing it, it does kind of sound like it is disgusting, but anyway, I enjoyed it and it will give me some energy to get through the workout, which is the most important thing. In terms of what I'm wearing, I've gone for color, which is shocking for me because as you guys know, I nearly always just wear dark colors, like black, blue. Sometimes I'll branch out and go for like a light gray if I'm really feeling adventurous. But I've been slowly buying a few pieces of activewear in slightly brighter colors, obviously within the spectrum of blues and blacks and all that stuff. Also in classic me style, I spilt some breakfast on my leggings and I can't really get it off, so I'm just gonna have to live with it. Anyway, these are the Lululemon Aligns. I pretty much live in Lululemon Aligns, you guys probably know this. I wear the high rise 25 inch inseam and I have basically had them for years and years and years and I just cycle through them. So I have them in most of the colors. Recently, I've started buying the ones with the pockets, which I was quite skeptical of, but now that I've got them, game changer. I actually love them, they're so handy to have. And I pretty much do everything in my Lululemon lines. I hike in them, I run in them, I obviously exercise and do calisthenics and all that stuff in them. I do all my lower body training. Although on the website, they pretty much say they're for yoga or sort of gentle exercise. But like I say, I use them for pretty much everything and they're great. And then on top, I'm wearing, well the sports bra that I'm wearing, this one, is from Amazon. I have a link below to Amazon and I have it in the little storefront there, so if you wanna check it out. But I have them in so many different colors and they're super comfortable, which I really love. And then the tank top, I always just wear random tank tops. I always get questions where they're from, but they're literally just basics from different stores. But at the moment, I have been buying this one, which is from, I can't really see, from Zara, and it has this like distressed edge. And I basically bought it in all the different colors because it's just a nice fit. I used to wear like cropped ones that kind of stopped here, um, but I've recently been just, maybe it's my age, but I've just been enjoying having a slightly longer one. So I like the length of these ones. And then it's just exactly the same on the back as well. You also may notice that I cut my hair. It used to be down to about here, but I cut it a little bit shorter. And I was so anxious going into the hairdressers, like really, really nervous. I always have really bad experiences and I didn't want to get it cut short, but it was really unhealthy and it hadn't been cut for such a long time. And now that I've had done, it feels so good. Not only that, but I had the most beautiful hairdresser. She was so lovely. She was actually a Ukrainian and she came to the UK when the war began and she'd never visited the UK before, but she's been living here ever since. She's got a little dachshund called Dora. And oh, it, just, it was so, she was the most beautiful person. And she did a really good job. I was just so happy and it feels so light. And if I forget my hair bubble at the gym, it's not a problem because it's short enough that I don't need to tie it back. It's just so much easier to deal with. So I love it, I'm really, really happy. But anyway, I'm gonna stop talking, finish off my tea, just having a chamomile tea, and then I'm gonna get on my bike and I will see you guys at the gym. 
Right lads and ladies, boys and girls, let's do this. I'm feeling a little bit more awake now after my cycle than I was this morning. Maybe that breakfast has kicked in as well. I ended up being all right, you know. I'm just gonna start with some movement because I am stiff. This is an exercise that I'm meant to do pretty much every day for my back. And I only ever do it on leg day now, but it's pretty effective. I think we can all get like that though, get a bit complacent with our exercises. I definitely do. So if you're like me, we're in good company. All right, at this point, I think I'm just procrastinating about getting started, so I am going to get a move on. Let's get into this workout. We're going to start with squats. All right, I lied. We're starting with Nordic curls. This is something that Ollie always makes me do, which I'm very grateful for, but I just only ever do them when I'm with Ollie, which is not great. Don't be deceived by this band. It's one of the thin bands, but it's a Bulldog gear one, and it's extremely strong. Aiming for a bit more power on the way up. Three. Let's go for five. Four. Don't face plant the floor. It's quite a strong band though, isn't it? It's red, but it's technically like a black, really. <laughs> All right, we're super setting it with sissy squats, apparently. I always feel like I'm doing these wrong. Pure concentration. Yeah, that wasn't so good. <laughs> right, we're gonna try a thinner band. This is the one I was using, which has got a lot more resistance than this one. I don't think we're gonna have much luck, but that's not the attitude. Positive thinking. This is gonna be easy. Oh my God, that's a lot harder. Back to the comfort of my band. Now I've tried the other one, I can definitely see that like this one's so strong. It's giving me so much assistance. This is gonna be the worst way to start leg day. All right, now we're doing squats. So low bar squats. I'm just gonna start by seeing how my hip flexor is because it's been a little bit grumbly recently, so we'll see. Honestly, squats is something that I have avoided most of my training life, which has been, I don't know, five, five, six years. Now I'm trying to put my big girl pants on and actually do them. All right, for the sake of my hip flexor, I'm gonna just try the first set at 35 kilos, but, oh, it should be low bar, whoops. I'm going to try and do the rest at 40. So going for 10 reps. God, 10 feels like a lot. Not sure if that felt physically hard or mentally hard. I think it's mentally hard. Add more weight or not. Oh, let's just try. It's only an extra five kilos. That's not even my cat. Safety first, put these clips on because I am so clumsy. If I don't put them on, I will drop the weight. All right, let's try this at 40 kilos. I always think it's so light, but it is two thirds my body weight. So, let's see how we go. All right, set number three, let's go. Ollie just gave me a tip to set first and then squat. Oh, that felt good. Last two. All 
<laughs> last one was a little bit sketchy, but we're trying, we're trying. Right, so the cue that Ollie gave me was that when you're at the top, you actually tilt your hips back to start with as a set, and then you go and do your rep. And it's actually really helpful. And that is squats done. Always unrack your weights because it is a nice thing to do. All right, the bad news is I'd usually use 16 or 18 kilo dumbbells and they only have 20 available. So I'm gonna to have to do, I'd usually do four sets of 10, reverse lunges on each leg. I'm gonna do four sets of six or eight. We'll see. I might surprise myself or I might not. All right, I did some leg press and now we're moving on to sled push. This track always kills me because it's 15 meters and the one at my gym is 10. And that extra five meters makes such a big difference, trust me. It doesn't help that I can see the numbers on the ground, which is really depressing. So doing one push, one pull. Why does 15 meters feel so far? Last time I sat on this sled and Ollie was gonna push me, and I, <laughs> and I sat directly on the metal pole. <laughs> Full body weight as well. All right, I'm gonna to talk to you about through this one, it's just because it's a good distraction. I often feel like a bit of an imposter because there are so many people that are stronger, fitter, quicker, more talented, more skilled than I am. But I suppose there's so much more to the story. And that's why comparison is just, such a bad thing. I'm not pulling a lot of weight right now because people can pull way more but I'm pulling more than I was able to and I've been consistent with my lower body training now for about five months which for me is really huge. It really is just about accepting that you're doing better than you were before and you're happy. I'll be your uh, motivator Lucy grinding away. Hear my heavy breathing as we walk. That's it, all the way to 50. Keep working. Let's go, let's go, let's go. That's it. Good, five more steps. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> the worst commentary you'll ever hear. All right, Ollie's going for a PB. We're going for 30 seconds, sub 30 seconds. 10 seconds, let's go. Got this easy, easy, come on. Let's go, let's go. Come on, five, four, three, two. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Ooh. 28, 40. All right, guys, that is our workout over. I think overall, it was a surprisingly good workout. Considering I wasn't even sure if I was gonna train today, I woke up, I felt so low energy. I was like, I might just cancel the gym. I actually PB'd most of my exercises, so I'm really stoked about that. Like I said, I can tend to be really hard on myself, especially with lower body training, because I just feel like my progress is quite slow and it's just never something that I've been really consistent with. But this is the thing, it's all about what you're achieving and being better than you were before. I feel like I've had that many exciting thoughts to share with you throughout this workout, so I hope this has provided some type of entertainment for you. I really appreciate you joining me. It's really weird because I'm training in the mornings a lot more now and I've been even going for some runs, which is really strange for me. And it's amazing how much time it frees up in your day. I used to train in the morning when I was at uni and then it's just, as I've gotten older, progressed to later and later in the evening. For such a long time, I couldn't even consider the fact of getting up early in the morning. And I just started doing it every now and again, like once or twice a week. And I'm actually really enjoying it. It just gives you so much time in your day. Like I've now got the rest of the day to just do whatever. And I feel like I can have a really productive day now. So I'm gonna head home. I've got a cycle. And then I'm gonna go and get a coffee. And I'm gonna head to a cafe. 
and do a load of work. This is definitely one thing I need to do more of. I need to stretch more. I say this in literally every single video. I'm like a broken record. I really just need to put it aside and do it. I need to take my own advice and just JFDI, just friggin' do it. But that is it, guys. Thank you so much for joining me, and I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you.